Hi, I am Benila. In this video, I am going to talk about the Indian power grid. On 24th July 1879, the evidence of the existence of electricity was first shown in India by lighting the light bulbs in Kolkata. Yes, this happened before the independence of India. The introduction of power in Kolkata was a success and so the power was next introduced in Mumbai. But people were not interested in electric lights. They had some confused feeling about this. Some thought this as luxury and some were really scared of this electricity. So overall locals were not comfortable with this. But Industrial people were attracted by this new scientific marvel. They thought this electricity could improve their profit. This led to the installation of first hydroelectric power plant in Darjeeling to power its tea estates. After this, thermal power station was built to supply commercial loads in and around Kolkata. Similarly, in southern region, Shivana Samudra power station was installed to power the Kola gold mines. Later, one by one, other power plants were built. By that time, the usage of electricity started in a very gradual manner. The streets of Bangalore got their street lights. And that happened to be the first ever electric street light in Asia. People started becoming comfortable with electricity. Advertisements in newspapers and pamphlets were used to promote the use of electricity for lighting and heating purposes. Shortly after this, horse-driven carriages were replaced by trams, hand fans were replaced by electric fans and slowly electricity have become one of the essentials in our day-to-day -day life. Before independence, the generated electricity was supplied only to the urban areas. The electrification of villages were done mostly after 1947. After independence, state electricity boards started functioning, which increased the generation capacity as well as the transmission and distribution in their respective states. The high voltage transmission of 220 kilovolt voltage level is introduced during this period. At this time, the development of nuclear power plant was at a slower phase. During the early 1960s, the country was divided into five regions in such a way that each region would perform as a single grid. What's mean by grid? It's an interconnected network designed to provide electricity all the way from its generation to the consumers. The five regions include Eastern, Western, Northeastern, Northern and Southern. The energy consumption started increasing tremendously. This led to the upgrade of voltage transmission from 220 kilovolt voltage level to 400 kilovolt voltage level in 1977. The development of wind power in India began in 1986 with its first wind farms being set up in Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra and Gujarat. Now, our electricity generation capacity and the transmission have increased a lot. To plan, execute and maintain this high voltage transmission, the National Power Transmission Corporation Limited was established in 1989. Later, this name was changed to Power Grid Corporation of India Limited. In India, the standard residential single phase electricity supply voltage is 220 volt at 50 hertz frequency. The transmission of electricity was done only using high voltage AC transmission until 1990. The first HVDC connection was introduced in India between Rihan and Dadri with 814 km long bipolar overhead line. Yes, the Indian energy market has gone through an impressive growth after the establishment of Power Grid Corporation of India Limited. The following year, the Northeastern and the Eastern grids were interconnected. A decade later, by 2003, the Western grid was also interconnected with this grid. After three years, the Northern grid also joined the interconnection. 
Seven years later, on December 31st, 2013, when the whole world was celebrating the New Year's Eve, the Power Grid Corporation of India Limited gave another special reason to multiply our celebration. Yes, the southern region was also connected to the central grid with commissioning of 765 kV Raichu Solapur transmission line, thereby achieving one nation, one grid, one frequency. Now, the power can be traded between Jammu and Kanyakumari or literally from any part of the country to any other part of the country. At this time, India was facing two major problems. First one, even though the power capacity has increased a lot, the electricity demand was increasing rapidly. Second, burning fossil fuels to produce electricity caused global warming. Not only India, but the whole world is responsible for this. The only way to stop climate change is the transition towards green energy. As India enjoys sunshine almost through the year, India can rely on solar panels to generate green electricity. The growth of the solar panel in India has been increasing day by day. On August 18, 2015, the Cochin International Airport became the world's first fully solar-powered airport. Presently, India exports electricity to Nepal, Bangladesh and Myanmar, while India imports power from Bhutan. However, sometimes India also exports power to Bhutan during the lean hydro season. India is the third largest producer of electricity in the world. In recent years, India has brought electricity connections to hundreds of millions of its citizens. To meet the growth of electricity demand over the next 20 years, India will need to generate more electricity. I am pretty sure that solar energy and wind energy will play a major role in this. I would recommend you to watch the video over here which explains how can we boost the wind power capacity? Bye. See you in my next video.